Bnei Akiva was established in Lag Baomer about 1929. It was established in Jerusalem in Israel and it was the idea to establish a youth movement that had the idea of Chalutziyut, the combination of Torah and Avodah, both being religious but at the same time not only studying in Yeshiva but at the same time being active, working the land and, and establishing um, villages in Israel and, so, and building and actually building Israel. And today it's worldwide. We nearly have everywhere in the world Bnei Akiva, Australia, New Zealand, South Africa, Europe, North America, South America. We're talking about a worldwide youth movement. In 1951, my parents decided to immigrate to America. So where do I find Orthodox, kosher, Jewish boys? There's only one place. It's called Bnei Akiva. So I looked and I asked and I looked and I asked, there's no Bnei Akiva in Los Angeles. How can that be? I wrote a letter to Bnei Akiva in Holland, in Amsterdam, and I said, can you help me to open up a chapter here in Los Angeles? Which they gladly did. And so Bnei Akiva was born in January 1952, here in Los Angeles. The kids at that time were very committed. There would be no problem for us to walk from one sniff to another sniff. If we were in West Adams, and we would walk to Beverly Fairfax and walk back. It was really a privilege to belong to Bnei Akiva. We were very, very proud. Even though there was a lot of fun involved, there was a lot of seriousness. We learned an awful lot about commitment, about love for Israel. So many people from this area made Aliyah. It, it was wonderful to see. In 1955, I got married. I raised four kids. And what do they do on Shabbat? There was no choice. This was it. You joined B'nai Akiva. Basically, you know, my life would not be the same as it is without B'nai Akiva. B'nai Akiva was instrumental in formatting me into who I am today. I mean, I really give B'nai Akiva a lot of credit for leadership skills, speaking skills, any acting skills that I might have, uh, laning, davening, being a balkoire. Bnei Kiva has taught me to be a leader because you always have to be organizing and planning things. You have to be on top of your counselors, on top of the kids. You, want, you have to make sure that people come to the events, that people are enjoying the events. You know, you build the qualities and like the skills to you know, be, be a leader and teach about Israel, about Bnei Kiva and you know, what the beliefs are. Bnei Kiva basically, I feel, gave me life and I owe a debt that never can be paid back. Simply stated, I think it made me more Jewish, being aware of being Jewish, and how important it is to be Jewish, and understanding the values that B'nai Akiva stood for, Torah Avodah. It goes hand in hand. It was a, a privilege to belong to B'nai Akiva, and all of your peers did so. And this was a life preserver for a lot of kids, my friends who were in B'nai Akiva, who didn't necessarily come from that religious home but it kept them from, and later on they became Rosh Yeshiva. The best benefit is to create bonds of long-term friendships. The friends that I made 65 years ago, they're still my friends. Both my parents um, grew up in B'nai Kiva um, on different sides of town, and it taught them to love Israel, to love Torah, to love Judaism, and they really made sure that, that it was instilled in their kids. I've been very proud that my children, each one of them, have been very much involved. I get tremendous nachas and pride to see that this commitment to religious Zionism continues to the next generation. And it seems to me to be enthusiastic and they have excitement again and it's all there again. I like Bnei Akiva because you get candy. Bnei Akiva got me excited to go to Israel. I wish all my friends would come with me to Bnei Akiva. The face of Los Angeles would not be the same without Bnei Akiva. I know it. I, I look at every side. You look at the kolalim, you look at the yeshivas, you look at the rabbis, you look at the balabatim. Everybody, almost everybody came from a background of Bnei Akiva. Whether they tell you or not, they did. It's very important to learn these values outside of the home, outside of the school, and it just contributes to the future lives of all of us. Without Bnei Akiva, I don't know how I would have survived. What it did for me, my children, um, will, will go on for 
generations to come.